morning. It's another Monday. They're coming around rather quickly and of course it's very exciting now because we're coming out of COVID restrictions. Clive Enever with you for Monday Motivation and I hope that all of you are having a really good time and enjoying the lifted restrictions. As we come out of this of course there's tremendous opportunity to make changes to our business, to grow our business, to do all sorts of things with our business and making decisions about that I hope has been part of your COVID isolation. Making those decisions early is really important to decide what's good for you for the future, what it is that you want to achieve, how you want to achieve it, who you want to work with, etc, etc. All of those things require considerable well, thought and examination. Research is extraordinarily important to these circumstances to look at what you have been doing and compare that to what it is that you want to do. You might find that there are things there that you want to change, you might find that there are things there that you want to keep. You might find that there are things there that are working really really well but that they're being hampered by other things that you're doing or not doing. So to examine these things is very very important and always of course we want to relate it not necessarily to what we've got happening right now but to what it is that we want to achieve. We might be doing things in the moment that are delivering in the moment and making us feel, feel really good in the moment but not necessarily delivering anything to us in the longer term. To that end we might look at do we actually have goals? Do we know what it is that we want to achieve in the longer term? And perhaps we don't. Perhaps that's why we're just working in the moment. And if we're working in the moment sometimes these weeks disappearing quickly are disappearing quickly just because we don't know how to appreciate them and understand them and it's also quite possible it's because we don't have any long-term goals and therefore we're not working towards something. Through the years I've found that if we're working towards something that's uh, you know, a big goal, something that's really really important to us, the time might pass quickly but we enjoy the time and we enjoy putting into practice the things that we've planned in order to deliver us whatever it is that we want in the longer term. It's a often complex but and sometimes confusing for confusing place to be to think about I'm doing something today to deliver something that's happening tomorrow when all the time of course coaches and strategists like me keep telling us that we've got to be in the moment. We do have to be in the moment but being in the moment doesn't necessarily mean that we have to ignore whatever's happening around the moment. What's happening in our longer term? What do we want to have tomorrow, next week, next month, next year? If we have these goals, chances are that we'll be putting in place things that will deliver them to us. If we don't have goals, chances are we won't be putting in place things that will deliver them to us. So. There's a, a bit of a story in the post beside this live today uh, that you might have a look at and allow it to help you figure out how to go about achieving the things that you want. But a little something for you to do right now that, that could very well make planning for you much, much easier. And ideally write down what it is that you want to achieve. And when you write it down, and it doesn't matter whether this is what you want to achieve this week, next week, next month, next year, whenever, it's something that you want to achieve. And then look at it and say, does that inspire me? If you're trying to do something that doesn't inspire you, you might find it difficult to remain focused. In fact, you'll find it very difficult to remain focused if it doesn't inspire you. We've all heard the story, of course, that 
do what you love and you'll never work another day in your life and sometimes that sounds a bit easier than what it appears to be in practice but it's actually in practice exactly what it is in theory if you're doing something that you love it will inspire you if you're doing something that inspires you you don't have any difficulty remaining motivated you don't have any difficulty remaining focused and surprisingly enough you don't have a lot of difficulty achieving it there'll always be obstacles but most of the obstacles are relatively easy to overcome but once you've decided what it is that you want to achieve how will you achieve it how are you going to go about it and this is where your research comes in if you've done lots and lots of research if you haven't start doing it but if you've done enough research you, you now have an idea of, of how people, how customers want this service or, or product that you want to deliver how they want it delivered to them that's important because if your idea of your business is not aligned with your clients idea of your business you're going to find it really difficult in fact it can be so difficult it just won't work there's plenty of <laughs> examples if you want to look around the world uh, history there's plenty of examples of people who've had absolutely wonderful products but they haven't bothered to deliver them to the to the customer in the way the customer wants them often the customer has taken an inferior product just because it was delivered the way that they wanted it delivered these things are really important if you want to have your business deliver to you the life that you want in uh, in the terms and conditions that you want it delivered you might also look at who is going to do what very rarely do we find a person in business who does everything themselves almost impossible you have to have other people to do things to make your business work it might mean that you have employees it might mean that you have contractors it might mean that you simply have to fit in with somebody else who's a supplier or or you might be wholesaling your products you have to fit in with the retailers there's always somebody else in, involved and engaged in some way in your business so you need to look to that and identify who those people are and how you're going to work with those people then we want to look at how you're going to measure what you're doing seriously important if you cannot measure what you're doing you can't manage it so measuring is one of the most important things it's fine to go and put into action but if we're not measuring the actions that we're taking we can't determine whether or not they are the best or delivering the best outcomes you can't deliver because you can't count if you can't count it you can't manage it so that means KPIs key performance indicators if we can identify what we want to do how we want to do it who we want to do it with and for etc etc we can find key performance indicators they are the key indicators that your performance is what it should be is it effective is it efficient all of these things need to be counted and when you can count them you can determine okay maybe we need to tweak this or change that and once you've got it right keep doing it you don't need to change it if it's right <laughs> so work out your KPIs and I'd encourage you all do this today right now as you're listening to this start writing down what do I really want does it inspire me and if it doesn't inspire you go and find something that does inspire you there's always something that inspires us to do something find it and work with that from that you might find that you have the right product but haven't looked at it in the right way or service you might find that you're in the wrong place get in the right place all of these things are doable so what is it that we want to do how are we going to do it who's going to help us with it how are we going to work with those people 
And how are we going to measure it? How are we going to count that we're actually doing what we want to do? The wonderful thing about planning is that 10 minutes planning will save you two hours in the doing. So start with 10 minutes, see what you can achieve just by spending 10 minutes planning. After you've achieved something with 10 minutes, spend enough time to make sure that you're really, really clear on exactly what it is that you want to do and how you're going to do it, who you're going to do it with, etc. So that you can have all of the things that you want to have. That's enough for one week. See you next Monday.